Hello. Yeah, it's going to be another great time learning Aspen Hysis together. So today um, we will be considering um, how to simulate an expander, how to design an expander using Aspen Hysis. And remember, we're still working on our tutorial um, Hysis simulation case that was originally saved at the beginning of our class. Okay, so we've handled heater, we've handled cooler, so we are going to the energy equipment, mainly um, the uh, expander. Now, this is the expander icon. Click and drop. What's the expander used for? Now, you can use the expander to decrease the pressure of a gas. Okay, expander is used to decrease, to expand the gas. When you're expanding the gas, you are actually reducing the pressure you are, you, are, you are reducing the pressure of the gas so that's basically what the expander is used for all right so now this particular um stream stream one exists at a pressure of 241 kilopascal now we want to expand the gas we want to reduce the pressure of the gas to um let's say 150 kilopascal 150 kilopascal so what do i need to do now when you are expanding a gas okay you 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 an energy stream is leaving the system for a compressor you are adding an energy stream it's just like cooler and heater so to say in cooler heat is removed and in heater heat is imputed that's work is done on the system now for an expander energy is removed you're removing energy from the incoming stream all right so just like any other um um, um unit operation of the design in the past has is always tell you what to do so now has is telling you that we need a fit stream so we take one as our fit stream and um let's say six as our outlet stream and then we call this uh, s pan HP okay as my HP is totally dependent on what you want to name your energy stream all right there's like I said there is there's no routine of naming your energy stream just name it with something you can relate with okay I call it expand HP because this is an expander his HP has to do with horsepower okay so I always name my energy stream with something I can relate with all right so you can actually try and get something that can help you um help you with the way you name your energy stream when designing unit operations okay so how is this telling you that you need what you need to impute the duty unknown duty for others they always tell you tell us unknown pressure before unknown duty this time around is telling us unknown duty so remember we want to expand what is what we want to do expand the pressure from 241 to 150 kilopascal so i can easily come straight to my worksheet or i can come to my expander uh, my expander design tab and click on parameters now if i know the delta p i know my end pressure i know my incoming pressure so the delta p ha happens to be the difference between the two pressures right so 241 minus 150 will give you the pressure drop so once you impute that pressure drop here it will automatically give you the outlet pressure okay or since we know the pressure we can easily come to worksheet go to pressure under um stream six and type 150 kilopascal so once you do that it will be solved you can come back to your design click on parameters so your delta p is 91.75 and your pressure ratio was calculated to be 0 0.6205 now the, your duty is 22.25 kilowatts all right now here you can choose your curve input option whether it's a single curve non-dimension um atlas cup core multi igv course quasi dimensional total is totally dependent on what you are doing okay now this is where you define your efficiency your adiabatic efficiency so leaving it at 75 
efficiency you're telling the system that you want this um expander to operate at an adiabatic efficiency of 75 percent or if you need an efficiency of say 80 percent you can come to adiabatic um, efficiency and type 80 so HISIS calculates or recalculates everything for you all right so as you can see the duty has increased from 22 0.22 to 23.73 kilopascal because of the increase in efficiency so if we reduce this efficiency to 60 percent 60 percent it will affect the duty now the duty the amount of energy that will be leaving the stream or the system will be 17.80 kilowatts and the polytropic efficiency will also change do you notice that so you need to know your adiabatic efficiency okay the efficiency of the expander you're trying to design and um know the the outlet pressure these are the two important factors in designing your expander in aspen high c so let me take it back to 75 percent so you come over to performance under performance this is where you see the adiabatic head based on your inputs based on your input so under the performance you see your polytropic head adiabatic fluid head and um everything everything poly polytropic um, um head factor scroll down you see a centropic exponent polytropic exponent and the fluid power okay so this is simply how to design your expander all right so how to design your expander okay now to make your work neat instead of this energy stream pointing this way you want it to point that way all i need to do is click on this come to this place you see flip horizontal flip vertical rotate so if you are using rotate i'm going to be rotating it 90 degrees because the movement is anti-clockwise so it has to move this way so if i rotate at 90 degrees okay another 90 degrees so in total that's 180 degrees rotation then i position it here or if i want to flip it vertical i can't flip this vertical now this is what if i want to flip this on vertical i can did you see that so everything has changed if i want to flip it horizontal okay it will automatically swap the position of the expander okay so you can play around with this okay you can play around with this all right so thank you i believe you've learned a lot of things about how to design your expander so our next class will be on how to des design a compressor then after that we we'll design our pump before we we'll go to our separators the two-phase separator three-phase separator and um, a storage tank thank you for your time i really appreciate that you are enjoying the course thank you very much